Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about cloud formation. What are the resources? What are the parameters? And what is mapping? What is the outputs? And what is the conditions? And how to use in a cloud formation template? So let's start with the cloud formation template. That is the resources. Resources is a key part of the cloud formation template. Without resources, we cannot do anything. So like EC2 instance or S3 bucket or whatever it is, these all comes under the resources. And we have more than 200 plus resources available that we can use under the tag resources. Another thing that is very useful, that is the parameters. We can also, parameters are basically the logical name or it can be alphanumeric, it can be unique. And it should be unique among all the logical names that we're defining within a template. So we need to make it sure we are not having the same names. Otherwise it won't let you create a template, create a stack basically. So no need to worry about that even if you're making a mistake. So what are the different parameter types? Is string, number, list of numbers, and comma delimited list. One good feature about cloud formation is that whatever sequence you want to define these resources or parameters or mappings or conditions or output, it doesn't matter. It will automatically uh, like create those things within a sequence. So we need not to worry about like which should be uh, defined first and which should be later. So it automatically takes care of those things. So this is the resources. You can check my previous video also in which we were creating a EC2 instance. So here also same thing, resources. We are creating a EC2 instance and you can see we are having the instance type and that we are defining a parameter and it should be string and default it should be T2 micro. And what are the allowed values? T2 micro or M1 small or M1 large. If T2 micro is available, we can go for that. Otherwise the other options are there. So this is how we can define a parameter. So instance type parameter, that is the name, that is a string and default it's T2 micro. So in some examples, you might see that parameters are defined above the resources. So it doesn't matter. So we can define it anywhere. The most important thing is that, so you can see the ref over here, instance type ref, instance type parameter one. So those parameters. So from the parameters, we can easily understand from, in, it should be in the beginning, it, such that the other person can easily understand what are the uh, parameters are defined for that particular resources. Then we have the mapping. So it is used to match a key to a corresponding set of named values. Now, uh, creating a mapping, uh, we'll look for the EC2 instance, what are the EMI ID based upon the region and architecture. So when you uh, create launch an instance, you can see over there you have when you're selecting a uh, instance type E2 micro and all, what is the AMI image that is Amazon uh, image, machine image it is. So it will show you which region, which AMI is available. So we can do a mapping also to that if it is East, US East 2. So those are the two available. So you can check in the EC2 console this already there. So we can also define in our cloud formation that this mapping, if it is US East 2 region, these are the two images that are being available. If it is US East West 1, these are the two AMIs available. By default, we can do the mapping for that. Then we have the condition. So we define conditions when we want to create a resource. So there are some intrinsic functions that help us to evaluate the inputs against one another. Like suppose when we are creating a uh, EC2 instance, like suppose for two environments, we want to create it like production and the test environment. So we can uh, define a condition, create the production resources, not equal to and ref type environment type. So we are referring an environment type and the environment type, we are giving a description like it is our uh, environment type, default is test type string and what are the allowed values that we can have that is a product production and the test. So so we can define a constraint like that. Now again, we can you can see over here, whenever we are using the condition, we are using a parameters also along with it. So we can define a constraint constraint over here, description like whether it's a product production or test environment. So then we are checking the condition, create production resources, not equals to, and then ref environment type, that is production. So this is how we can uh, use the conditions. Even we can use with the S3 buckets, which region and all what uh, uh, it should be, the air and number like and all. These all uh, logical operators, you, you can use it equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than. These things we can use it easily in the conditions. Then we have the output. 
So it the outputs are used to refer some values outside a, again a single stack. So suppose if you're having a two stack from one stack, you want to refer to the second uh, stack. So we can use that cross stack references. We can use the outputs. So value from one stack will be taken up and will be uh, sent it to the uh, as an output to the next stack. So we can utilize that instance ID or AC2 ID. So those things we can use it. Or if you're having a nested stack within one stack, there's another stack is there. So we can refer for that also output. Describe stack API calls also, as well as uh, we can have in the console only, we can define those outputs. So for the output, you can see over here, we have the instance ID and the description the, the value is ref my instance. And we are calling that stack, uh, my stack EC2 and the ID of the EC2 instance and value ref my EC2 instance. And we are exporting the name and that is uh, that sub AWS stack name EC2. So basically the output named my stack EC2 returns the ID of the EC2 and then exports the value for cross stack referencing with the name EC2 appended to the stack name. So both are being joined together. That's basically we are appending those things over there. So it will return both EC2 instance name along with the stack name. Okay, uh, that's it. So I will just show you one template over here. So you can have a clear idea about it. So you can utilize my old template only. In the same template, I've added a few things over here. If you remember, we were having only this portion. Mm. We were having only this from resources. We were having EC2 instance. What is the image ID instance type and security groups we added? My elastic IP. So these were the two security groups. Now on the top of it, I have defined over here the same is to the same uh, file. If you go on the top, you can see parameter instance type parameter one. So they, that is basically we are defining the type of EC2 instance over here. Then uh, you can see over here environment type that is we are we are using it for the uh, conditions, and then you can see conditions over here create production resources not equals ref type environment type, and this is the mapping done over here, and then the outputs my the instance ID and the reference my easy to instance and the stack that we are having, so that will give you, export you the name to the console or you utilizing that EC2 ID in the, another stack. So just a continuation of the existing template, I have added a few things. If you want to cross check this one, whether your template is well formed or not, you can just go to the console. So, and go to the cloud formation and you can go to the create stack and you can choose over here, upload a template file choose file and you, I will use the just recently shown template. So once it is uploaded successfully, this means there's no error. You can view in the designer also. So that's it. So you can see over here. We have this template over here. We have the parameters. We have the conditions. We have the mappings. We have the outputs. We have the resources. Everything is there in this template. And you can just go ahead and create your cloud formation stack. You can easily create over here. It will go back. Uh, okay, template is not valid. There is some issue over here. Let me check. It's fine. There's no issues with that. Okay, we can close this one and we can go back. So just to showcase you what are the resources and what are the things that are included in the cloud formation template. So I made the, just this video. So you can just utilize this one and you can just uh, run this template in order to create your stack and just let me know whether it works or not. So you, it will work, definitely it will work. There is no issues with that. So in the upcoming videos, I will show you how uh, like if somebody is modifying the template, how to track those things. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.